An Irish lad fighting his father while worried that his best friend might try to shift his sister? <laughs> There's not much more Irish than that. What? Star Wars might have happened a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, but it continues to be of special interest to the people of Ireland. Whether it's because one of the main actors is named after one of our most famous alcohols. Oh, you mean Alec. Jameson Earl Jones. Or because the new ones were filmed in Kerry just so the Americans could see someone else drive on the wrong side of the road. Star Wars continues to be of special interest to the people of Ireland. <laughs> Star Wars is a movie about space and spaceships, but at its core, it's just about a sound lad working on a farm who spends all his day dreaming of heading off to the city where all the action is. And he'd give his right hand for the chance. Now, the Jawas might look strange, but when you're a remote farmer looking to buy scrap metal on the cheap, you go to the lads in the caravan every time. The first time we get to see Luke interact with strangers is in a nearby city, and the locals do not take kindly to him at all. Yeah, this is the part I don't understand. It's an hour away and the locals treat him like a complete foreigner. I mean, what kind of city treats people like that? Oh, yeah. My friend doesn't like you. I'm sorry. I don't like you either. Ow, you concha! In the universe of Star Wars, religion isn't something to be taken seriously. I mean, everyone finds it pretty dumb. Pokey religions and ancient weapons are no match for a good blaster at your side, kid. It's got a good side and it's got a bad side, but the one thing that holds true for Star Wars in Ireland when it comes to religion is... It's everywhere. There's an evil old man who's controlling everything from the shadows. You know what we're talking about. That's a good idea to have a fucking phone, Josh. It's alright. I mean, you pick it up and throw it into you, the kitchen. You definitely need to get these hot topic notifications. They're really. I mean, what happens? It if was you an missed email. One? It was an email. I bought something off Hot Topic in the early two thousands, and I still get these fucking emails. You still wear what you bought in Hot Topic. <laughs> to some people, Star Wars is their Bible. To us, Star Wars is the Bible. It's the Old Testament. People always quote from it, and it has the best violence. The new stories try to make things nicer, but they're a bit boring. Like, really boring. Like, insanely boring. But hey, there's always that promise of a savior who will return and sort everything out. There's some weird names in Star Wars. Whether it's Newt Gunray, Bib Fortuna, or Salacious B. Crumb. <laughs> Star Wars is known for having some of the weirdest names in film history. but. Is it any worse than what you'd hear in a roll call at a D4 kindergarten? I mean, they could have been called Fiacre Kumsuk Rishdard, I know that one. Sav? Sav sounds like the next holdover from the Sarlacc pit. <laughs> it's no accident that the bad guys in Star Wars all have British accents. The British are bad guys. I mean, at least to us. I mean, what is 800 years of oppression but something that started a long time ago. Yeah, but the Empire do have a habit of hovering menacingly over innocent people, which <laughs> the British would never do. Witness the full power of our fully operational Westminster cabinet. Star Wars is all about family, which we can agree is just as important in Ireland. And yeah, there's that bit where Luke and Leia kiss, but we don't have anything like that here in Ireland. I mean, like... Uh, w w well, okay, okay, wow. Okay, can we just move on to the next one, please? This is the weapon of a Jedi Knight. Not as clumsy or random as a blaster. An elegant weapon for a more civilized age. Luke, this lads is a hurling. Oh. Used in the oh. Irish game of hurling. 
cross between hockey and murder. So fuck me! <laughs> Yep, yeah, the only thing missing from Star Wars is your drunk dad on the sideline calling the ref a prick. No! So there you go, we've proven that Star Wars is surprisingly a very Irish story. But the best part about this is, that story isn't finished. There's mm. still a lot more Star Wars to come. Mm. And what could be more Irish than repeating the mistakes of your parents one more time? Oh, an extra one? That was a bonus one. You're lucky. So go out, check out the movie. Uh, download it if you want, who cares, yeah. this movie's gonna make a billion dollars in China. Yeah, whether you like it or not, you're unimportant to this. Yeah, doesn't matter to the Chinese people, you're a speck of dust, and you will not be missed. But check us out in our new video, Top 10 Ways China is Exactly Like Ireland. Have a Jedi night. And a Jedi good day. Irish lad fighting his father while worrying that his best friend might try to shift his sister. There's no more Irish than that. <laughs>